and welcome to this week's video um and also this month's studio vlog before i get into the video i would like to give a shout out to angel galore who is the comment of the week thank you so much for your comment i really like reading all its comments and if you would like to be the comment of the week all you have to do is comment on any video that could have been you um i'm also on patreon and um i updated all of my tiers this month so you know if you're interested in that you can go check it out um, and I'm also on Etsy, however, at the time of you watching this, my shop is temporarily closed again, um, but hopefully it'll be open again soon. But I do have one, and I'm working on stickers, which you'll see some of that later. Um, but, kind of a brief overview of the month, I got a new printer, which is really exciting, um, and something I've been needing to do and wanting to do for a while. So I can make my own stickers. Um, and that's kind of like the main, most exciting thing that's happened this month. But, you know, it was exciting nonetheless. Howdy. <laughs> I'm not in my room today. I'm in our living room. Um, I'm also the only person at home right now, which I don't do super often, so I'm like taking advantage of this. I <laughs> I also recently got some plushies, so I'm sitting here with the plushies. <laughs> They're all dino plushies. So we got this one, which at first I thought was a T-Rex, but I think it might be a Stegosaurus, but then again, I don't know much about dinosaurs. I just think they were cute. And I also got a Squishmallow. Very squishy. 10 out of 10. Um, so, I watched the lecture. And I also baked the cake. <laughs> it's like in the oven right now. I kind of feel like drawing now. And, uh, that's probably what I will do. I wish I could draw like in front of this window. Like, I want to film it. I can't draw in front of this room and window and film it because the, the couch is in the way. Um, but, like, there's some really nice natural lighting coming in right now because it also snowed. It snowed. <laughs> it snowed in. Uh, it, if, you, if you recognize that sound. Well, I hope you recognize it. <laughs> it's a from TikTok. But anyways, since it snowed, it's like kind of, even though it's kind of gloomy, it's kind of bright because the light reflects off the snow. The snow. The snow didn't. It didn't snow like a lot, but um, it doesn't, it doesn't snow too much here. But this is the second snow this year. It is pretty though. Like the trees are pretty. But yeah, I kind of feel like drawing. I haven't used my Copics in a few weeks, so I'm probably going to do some of the Copics. And I'm probably going to incorporate the Posca pins somehow. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I got to sneeze. The dog's been farting a lot, and it's like, ma'am. Ma'am. I am going to put something on the TV, perhaps. And I'm going to draw something. I'm also like sitting in the dark. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna show you the cake when it comes out. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna draw something. I watched Solo. I haven't seen Solo in a minute. Solo isn't too bad, even though it did terrible at the box office. <laughs> the cake's done. But no, that ain't. That ain't not. That's not done. I haven't started drawing yet, but the cake is dying. <laughs> um, 
Doesn't look like much yet. But once the icing's on it, it's gonna be... Well, hopefully, you're <laughs> feeling good. Um, there's this thing that I do on my Instagram sometimes where I'll... I guess I gotta get down here. <laughs> where I will, like, post a picture of a cake. Like, I'll decorate it and stuff. Um, like, for example, this cake here. And I'll ask people to guess what the flavor is. <laughs> Usually when I do it, I like to like throw people off. So last time I did a, what kind of cake was it? I can't remember what kind of cake it was. But I put, um, I put like bees on it, like I drew little bees on it to, and then one of the options I had for people to choose was something with honey. <laughs> like I think it might've been honey vanilla or something. Uh, it was not honey vanilla. Misdirect. Anyways. I think it's hilarious, personally. This time, like, I want to, like, do a design that is actually related to what the cake's flavor is. So, it's apple brown sugar. So, I plan on doing, like, a similar design as does the one I do with the bees. But, putting apples on it. But like I'm doing apples instead of bees. But I need to take the butter out. Sweet baby raised or sweet baby raised. Sweet baby raised is very good. I inshallah will be going to pick up my printer today, which is super exciting. But anyways, I'm gonna let my cake cool and frost it later and make an Instagram story about it probably. Uh but in the meantime I'm gonna draw and watch. Solo. Yeah. <laughs> Solo. Approved. See, transport ID 83 for the Naval Academy of Korea. For having a mind of my own, but I'm a great pilot. And I gotta get home. This guy is nuts. No one goes back to Karelia. I got a reason. We've already got a great pilot. I don't like it. <laughs> So this was the sketch in question, um, the larger one. It was just too stiff and he didn't really fit on the page and I also didn't plan it out too well, which is why he didn't fit on the page and why it was so stiff. Like I didn't do any like warm ups or anything. Um, and so this page ended up being the warm up. What you do be like that sometimes. Um, I actually don't like to do these types of sketches in this particular sketchbook. This is like my fancier sketchbook, so it's for like finished colored things. Um, and so I don't really like doing just normal regular sketching in it. That's what my other sketchbook is for. You know, the one that has the spine coming off of it. <laughs> like I just don't really mind as much when I make mistakes in the other one versus this one. Which is why I have multiples. You know, you gotta have... Well, you don't have to. I just do it. <laughs> like, I just like to have different sketchbooks for different reasons. However, so sometimes mistakes are made. And this time was one of those times. So, I just kind of had to take that ale, as you do. And so I just started over. And um, with the first one, I wanted it to be dynamic. Um, but it didn't end up being dynamic. It was kind of stiff. Um, so with the second one, I decided I will lean into the stiffness of it all. And just draw something where he's just standing. <laughs> Except he has no legs. <laughs> Cause I didn't feel like drawing them. Um, yeah, so this is just lint. Um, and I felt like doing using Copic cause I haven't used them in a minute. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. I also used my Posca pens, um, which I got earlier this month. Um, I used the Posca pens for the background and also for adding texture to his shirt. Um, the blue that I have, well, one of the blues that I have ended up being like a nice little, like it paired well with the blue that I use for a sweater. So, you know, I just added texture to that. Um, I also just took a little more time with the coloring um, itself, like on the face. Um, cause normally whenever I do Copic stuff or rather before when I used to do Copic stuff, I would just do, um, pretty much flat color where I would like blend everything to non-existence 
which is fine too. However, I'm kind of into the slightly more texture look. Like it's not super texture, but like I'm like intentionally leaving some things unblended or I'm just kind of being more intentional with where I place color. And um, you know, using unblended areas or less blended areas to my benefit, you know? You know, that type of thing. Um, so that was really fun and I really enjoyed drawing this um and i forgot to post it on instagram now that i think about it i'm like really bad at posting on instagram like i mean to do it but then i just forget um and by the time i remember it the drawing is like i just feel like i don't i don't know relate to it anymore or i feel like i've moved beyond it or something i don't know um so then i just end up never posting it um which is unfortunate which one thing that i had started doing was i would like post the newest drawing and then post the older ones that I never posted like I would post them all together so I, I will probably do that with this one at some point maybe who knows I don't um anyways but yeah I really like how this drawing turned out and it was a lot of fun to work on and I finished it right as my family came in so that was interesting um and it's one of two COVID drawings that I did this month so that's nice I had to move my desk. Um, I haven't done a whole bunch. Uh, I did finish my cake. That's what that looks like. Um, it was really tasty. I did go pick up my printer. And I also ended up getting a flash drive too because I've been using my mom's for the longest time. I don't really need 64 gigabytes. Um, or at least I don't think I do, but I just went ahead and got six of the rest, so it was just a couple of dollars more. I haven't opened my printer yet. It is heavy. It is big. So I'm going to go ahead and open this printer. I've waited for you so you can be here with me. This is the Canon Pixma. IP8720 if you're interested. I got this particular one because it says it can print on 13 by 19 sheets of paper. I'm not making my own prints now but like maybe one day if I was that would be a nice feature to have. I was like might as well invest now. <laughs> I hope that's a good view. That is the inside. We've got a cable, we've got ink, which is super important. You kind of need this stuff. Anyways, it's a six ink cartridge printer. I hope I don't regret that. Anyways, ooh, it comes with paper. Wow. Look at our paper. Well, I know it says photo. Oh, it's glossy. I don't know why I was looking on the back, but it's on the front. It's a sample pack. It said, try it. No, oh, you know what? I will. I wish it was matte, but, you know, I was about to say it was free, but I don't feel like it was. No. I feel like they just included it in the price. And the getting started menu, which I'm sure I will need. I'm already confused. I haven't even done anything. There's instructions everywhere. I'm supposed to be laying it on the side. Oh. <laughs> what side? I'm assuming this. Hold on. My desk is atrocious. Let's pretend we don't see that. Too big of a printer. I feel like it's too big of a printer for the space that I have. Or maybe I should do it on the floor. There's more space on the floor. And I can really do that. That's what I'll do. Oh, like it barely fits on the table. I did end up getting distracted for a moment in filming a TikTok, which I don't film TikTok. Tick, tick, hold on. 
<laughs> I don't film TikTok super often. Um, so I was like, that was my chance. Now's the time. So I kind of abandoned the studio vlog clips for a moment to like film a uh, TikTok. Um, and I, mm, I don't know. <laughs> It's like I like making TikToks, but at the same time, sometimes I get a little frustrated with it. Because I'm used to my regular video editing program and not TikTok. Which, that's just, it's just a learning curve kind of deal. Um, and I'm sure if I just sat down and tried to learn how to edit on there, I'm sure I could. <laughs> you know, you can do anything. You put your mind to. Wow. Anyways. <laughs> um, I also kind of accidentally filmed like a, I think it was like a 15 second TikTok and I didn't know how to make it longer after I had already started. So I, you know what, I, in hindsight, I think that's where part of my frustration came from. But now I know not to do that next time. But anyways, um, I put the inks in, as you do, and it was actually pretty easy to set up, a lot easier than I thought it would be, and I did like the test print and stuff, and you know, everything went smoothly. I mean, relatively smoothly, <laughs> um, considering. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm really happy with the printer. I'm so glad I got it. And I did some test stickers, you know, since I was like, you know, might as well while I'm at it. Um, I already had a design, uh, so I just printed that design. Um, it came out like the colors aren't quite what they look like on the computer. Um, they need to be a little bit warmer and I feel like a little bit lighter because you can't really see my line art. Uh, so I have to fix that somehow, some way. Um, and I also have to get some, like, protective coating. Um, I th it was, it's called, like, single, no, that's not what it's called. One-sided laminating sheets is what it's called. Uh, and I already have some that I'm looking at and plan on purchasing. So I gotta purchase that and actually, you know, get the things I can start like actually making stickers to sell because this is kind of a test. I accidentally printed one too many. Um, and I don't want that to happen because <laughs> ink is not cheap. So I scared myself with that one. So I gotta like be more careful next time, I suppose. Um, but yeah, um, since I don't have the proper laminating sheet at the moment I instead used a clear sticker sheet which I already had and I tested the quality of my stickers with that and I did like how it looked um, I did have a little issue with my Cricut machine for a moment uh, it was not cutting the middle row properly and I realized that that was because I had not calibrated my machine that was my own fault and when I did calibrate it I calibrated it to the family printer and so I didn't print something like I didn't print the actual sheet they used to calibrate your Cricut with the, my own printer I used the family printer and that kind of threw me off a bit too but you know that was that was on me as well um but eventually I got it working and I got at least one sticker sheet that was perfect in every way well not every way in most ways so that was nice but it was a road a rocky road if you will but we got there eventually. I have a video to film today, however, I'm like really tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. Um, and I wanted to do like a, um, just like a sit down and talk video for the Q&A. I don't feel like I'm presentable right now since I'm really tired and I feel like I look tired. I just feel like the best idea would be for me to wait till tomorrow. Um, so I could get some rest and so that I could be presentable because <laughs> I'm just really tired and I want to put my all into the video as well especially since it's like celebrating reaching a huge milestone uh, so I'm going to like set aside I don't think that's the way to say it I'm going to disregard my schedule for today and just do it tomorrow. Um, I was supposed to film the Q&A yesterday, but I was extremely tired, so I didn't get to. Um, <laughs> but I 
think I'm free all day today. So I'm going to do it today. I ordered a miniature tripod since my other one broke. And it was supposed to come yesterday, but it didn't. It just shipped yesterday. <laughs> I don't know why Amazon continues to lie. You know you're not going to ship it in two days. Um, I also was going to wear this scarf, but I see now that it does not contrast well with the background here. I just filmed the q and um, It was a lot of fun, and I kind of think that maybe that's what I should do whenever I reach a milestone. I could go for more coffee. I probably don't need more coffee. That's probably why I can't sleep at night. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm just going to go in and like, edit, I guess. I got my new tripod. That's what I'm filming on. It's a little bigger. <laughs> than the other one. Um, I don't have the other one in front of me, but you know, it's nice. And I'm glad I finally got one. Um, I can't wait to see what type of things I can do with like um, my sketchbook videos. Well, just my videos in general to see if I can get some better angles. Because the other one was maybe just a bit too small at times, like depending on what I wanted to do. So this is a little taller and can be extended. So, why did I say it like that? <laughs> So, um, you know, hopefully that means more ver versatility. I don't know why I forgot that word for a moment. Anyways, I also got a new cord for my microphone. The audio is better now. So if you, like you ever heard like a mysterious ticking or humming in my videos, that was probably the cord that I was using. Let me actually unplug now so I can like show you the state of this little game. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Come on now. Do you see the wire poking out? That's not good. <laughs> and I was trying to make it work. This is also the cord that I used to transfer files from my camera to my computer. So I was also risking losing stuff with this. Um, and the new cord that I have, it has like a 90 degree angle thing so when I plug it into stuff it won't like tug on the cord and cause this I made my own 90 degree cord it's actually really not 90 degrees it's more of an obtuse angle but anyway I have a bunch of boxes here from all this stuff the printer and the stuff I just got so I gotta break that down at some point um I just don't feel like it right now <laughs> bustling Y'all, I surprised myself and I broke the boxes down the next day. Wow. There is hope. <laughs> Anyways, um, I did some sketches after that last clip um, for my weekly sketchbook sketch dub video for Patreon. Um, and this is just a selection of the ones that I did, you know. I've been sketching a lot of lenses lately, which is nice. Also, remember when I said I only did two cup of drawings this month? Um, that was an accidental falsehood. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not how you phrase that. But anyways, um, I also did this one. Um, I did this one earlier this week. I was like, I kind of want to color Kamir right now. So I did. And I also wanted to draw him with his cat, so I did that too. And that was a lot of fun. Um, the cat is actually, it's like a loath cat. That's what they're called. Um and they're weird looking <laughs> um but kind of fun to draw because they have these weird little feet so um i had a lot of fun drawing it uh and i think yeah this is the first time i've done like a finished thing of him with his cat so that was a lot of fun and i just really enjoy coloring this character i like drawing the character in general but i like the colors <laughs> um a lot just like the colors i use it's fun. Um, I also had to stop and come back to it because um, my camera died and that was my own fault because like I knew that my camera was dying. You know that that one's on me. At the time of me recording this it's the 27th um, so the month is mostly over so now I have an idea <laughs> of how this month went and I feel like I didn't do a whole bunch of things. Um, and it do be like that sometimes, you know? Um, I just been like really busy, um, with like work and stuff. Um, so, you know, it'd be like that. 
Um, but there were some there were some nice moments in there, like the printer. That was extremely nice. Um, also, I still haven't gotten my protective coverings for my stickers just yet. Um, but I was looking at them earlier. And, you know, that's a step in the right direction. So, um, hopefully I'll be ordering those soon. And, you know, making those, making those stickers for y'all. But, um, also, this is, like, kind of off topic. But while I was editing this, um, well, I, like, started editing a couple of days ago. And then I went to continue editing today. And my editing software was, like, no ma'am. And so I had to start all the way over after, um, like I had already edited half of the video, um, so I had to start all the way over. And that was a disappointment, to say the least. Uh, and I don't know why that happened. It's like it, it suddenly didn't recognize the video editing file, even though I was using the same program. It was weird, and it was a whole thing. But fortunately, praise me to the Lord, we got through it, and I edited the entire thing, and I'm, I've done it in pretty much one sitting, so. That was something. Quite something. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go and talk about this drawing really quick again. <laughs> go? I'm not going anywhere. Anyways, I think my favorite part about this drawing is the little cat. Um, I like the little seat, which I mentioned earlier, because they're just so wonky. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I want to say it's some type of mammal, but its feet kind of look like little lizard feet. I don't know what it is. Um, but I really like how I colored it and I had a lot of fun with it. So, you know, that's nice. Um, and, you know, kind of makes me want to draw Camry with his cat more often. But, you know, I don't know if I will. And it'd be like that sometimes. Um, but anyways, um, <laughs> I don't have much else to say. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of all over the place, but that's how my month was. It was all over the place. That's how my month months almost always are. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out to my patrons, Turtle Blend Ones, Ariana, and Sister Donna Fifty Five. Thank you so much for being my patrons. I really appreciate you and everything that you do. Well. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Um, I'm on Instagram and TikTok and other forms of social media. Links are in the description. Um, check it out if you want. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please enjoy the rest of your day, my peeps.